Yo, what is up, guys? I'm here today. I'm gonna show you how to do tilt, tilt, shift, photography, edits. Yeah, so this is very easy, actually. It's very, very easy. Nothing really to it. You just gotta know what you're doing. This isn't really a. Yeah, it's a basic. As long as you follow follow along and watch what I'm doing it's pretty basic it's really easy it's really short and let's get started with it now no alright um, this is the image I'm gonna be working with this is the school I go to so that would be pretty cool to do that but here's the edit when it's done so we're gonna get it to look like this and yeah basically what tilt shift does you can see it looks it makes it look very toyish. It makes it basically makes it look like a toy, and you don't have to use this image. I'm pretty sure you can't find this image, but um, find an image that is looking towards the ground at an angle like this, where you can see the shadows falling on the ground, and it'd be really good if you could find one without a sky in it. How this one is. This is a perfect uh, picture. It's got uh, people walking around in it. There's some people back there, but it's not in focus. But if you do tilt shift with people walking on the ground, obviously they wouldn't be walking in the air, space, floating, freaking Martians. Um, well, anyway, yeah, they, it looks really good. Well, let's let's get started with it. The first thing you want to do is uh, you want to click this thing, the uh, quick overlay quick mask mode I don't know why I said overlay and then we'll go to gradient and you can use uh, reflected gradient and go like this press shift and drag it along like that where you want and when you drag it you put what what you want to be in focus like this right here is going to be in focus so what you would do is click that again that goes it selects that area so you go to select inverse and you go to filter blur lens blur and yeah there you go it starts the effect like that very simple and you can change it up if you don't want it to be that big I actually think it's good like that and you can change the radius and what that is is basically how much blur more the radius, the bigger your radius is, the more blur you have. So you don't want to do too much blur. You want to make it look basically like you're looking at a toy set. Just think of it as you're looking at it. Don't do it exactly 20 because every photo is different. So I think I'm going to keep it like that. It's okay. Control D. Now what you want to do is go to hue and saturation and if you don't have that you go to window adjustments and uh, yeah I had to click that again actually window adjustments and then it should be right here go to hue and saturation pull your saturation up it'll make the color intensify the colors you want to make it look like uh, you don't want to do this that just no obviously you don't want to do it too intense like that where it's just you want to do it, make it look plastic basically. So, oh crap, my bad. Once you get it to where you like it, um, just click right here where your layers is. Now you want to go to curves, it's right here in the same adjustment essence tab, and pull it up right there on the top. Pull it down like that, and then just gives it to like the nice shadows, the nice sharp shadows basically. and makes the colors look better too and yeah that's a very short very quick and very easy tutorial you can make some really nice pictures with this and yeah thanks for watching guys and if you like these well this is my first if you like this tutorial and want to know some more stuff about photoshop or you would like a uh, a speed art or something like that just uh, put in the comments below but thanks for watching guys and uh, like the video obviously boy <laughs>